Welcome to today's session, Subhash. Am I clearly audible and visible to you? Please tell me. Yes, yes, you are quite visible and audible also. Yes, okay. right. Okay, so uh, hi, Subhash. How are you? Please tell me how was your day today? Yes, uh, Muskan, good evening and I am doing great. And thank you for asking and what about you? My day was also good. Actually, I had an event in my college, so I uh, went there to attend today. Uh, like exams are approaching, as you know, so we don't go to our university every day. But today, our chairperson from Niti Aayog had visited our college for discussing something, so we had gone today there. Okay, so how was it? Was it uh, fruitful? Yeah, the event was uh, really fruitful. They uh, wanted suggestions from the youth generation for the upcoming, like uh, in 2047, we'll be completing 100 days of independence. So uh, they were there to take suggestions from the younger generations. So uh, we'll be at the peak of our career at that time. So uh, they were here. Uh, and they also uh, had discussed so many things. Yes. So was there anything from your side? Did you contribute anything? Yes, I also had suggestions regarding that. Uh, they were asking for suggestions from different students. In the beginning, uh, students were hesitant to speak, like uh, three or four students spoke, but at last everyone wanted to give their suggestions and they were speaking. So yes, uh, I also had uh, uh, some views regarding the education system and uh, the contribution of women in uh, politics. Women's reservation for politics or the reservation that we know about uh, on services like ACST reservation. So which kind of reservation that yes. you are talking about? Yeah, reservation, uh, my main motive was about the equality that different portion of society are uh, given the politic, let's say the women one. Yeah, so it was, con if I talk about a wholly, so it was based on the women contribution in politics and what all reservations are present. Okay, nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so uh, it was a good event as of uh, totally like it was an hour or so the chairperson had visited and then he had to go somewhere. So he uh, had left. OK. Yes, so uh, Subhash, we have a topic for today. So uh, shall we go ahead with the topic or with the general conversation? Whatever you feel like I am comfortable with anything or general or topic. OK, you can go with anything. <clears throat> OK, so we at the beginning, we'll discuss about the topic and consequently we'll be gen uh, discussing general things also. Is that OK? Yeah, yeah, sure. Topic that we have for today is uh, uh, success. So we'll be discussing about success today. OK, right. OK, uh, so uh, when we talk about the word success, there are different things that come. Uh, the success word reminds us of achievements and different things. So one of the obvious question that comes is that how important is a good education to be uh, successful? What is the importance of a good, a good education system and uh, a good education to be successful? According to you. Yeah, so good education is definitely uh, a prerequisition um, for being a successful person in life. There are so many things that uh, we want to do in life, which we cannot do without uh, having a good education. Yes, so definitely we need good education for achieving those things. Suppose if somebody wants to uh, get a job and for that a minimum kind of qualification is required depending upon the job that he or she want. Yes. So, Education is definitely required. Yes, yes, for sure. I think uh, anything you want to excel, then you need uh, education. Education is must for anything. Yes, yes, right. Yes. Uh, now I have seen this generation, like uh, if I talk about this generation, so many children, uh, since there is a boom of internet and the technology, so most of the children are uh, going into uh, taking the new era, which are unexplored as of now, I think, like the gaming things and the new technology, all those things are coming. So uh, some way or the other, they are declining the importance of education. Like I've seen many children there in 6th, 7th, 8th class, and they are not concentrating the way they 
should in getting educated or uh, sometimes they feel like that this is not so important but what i'm doing is entertaining as well as this will help me in career that is what they think so what are your views regarding that yes uh, there are some thing that if one suppose in case of sports okay yes. so if one is very inclined to sports and does not like to uh, study much so yes. here they can do uh, and they can excel in sports even without having a um, uh, without having a higher degree yes so i i can uh, give you an example like sachin tendulkar yes what i have uh, read about him that he just passed 10 standard but he is a huge uh, celebrity in our country he excels in cricket so that's how if somebody wants to do something in a particular field so he may not uh, require that kind of education but still he can be felt successful with, with after achieving uh, the goal that he has set for himself okay yes yes i think that is absolutely correct he is inspiration for many and uh, but i think yes as you you also said that primary education and the basic education is very important like 10th or 12th class or even further how uh, ever the person is interested okay so uh, subhash we have different stages in our life where we uh, achieve so many kind of uh, you know pleasures or success like when you talk about every day uh, we think of achieving some goal and if we are successful in achieving we get happier in that we feel like yes we are successful in that so uh, subhash what is the biggest uh, success in your life that you consider that yes uh, this is something i wanted to achieve and i have got that or still there is something that you are uh, trying to yeah so at this stage of uh, the my primary uh, goal before getting a job was that i should get a job to go ahead in my life so that was okay. a success uh in my uh, life at that point after that there was uh, some goal like promotion in my service career and yes. for that i had to uh, take some departmental examination and i had to study for that and okay. after passing those departmental examination i got promotion so i can also take those as success in my life yes. later part is that when uh, my children grew up then i thought about their education and if they did good in their education field so that was also i felt that i am successful in making them or uh, uh, able to give them a good education so yes. but at the last i just want to say whatever you do in life it is all about your satisfaction suppose somebody wants to earn money and they think that if i earn more and more money i i would feel successful but yes. if that does not give you the satisfaction that you want then being uh, i don't think that that is a successful life because yes. you yeah. get the mental peace uh, about doing this and at uh, at the end it is always that you are uh, living a peaceful life uh and mental peace that is success i think yes yes absolutely i completely agree with your point uh, there are, sometimes it happens that uh, uh, some of the parents force their children to do a, go into the a particular stream and pursue a particular career but if a child isn't interested uh, maybe he'll get to realize later maybe he will not able to, he is not able to fulfill that like you mentioned the example of a great cricket person if his parents would have forced him uh, this is not the case uh, of uh, uh, you know someone i know but yes this is one thing that exist and so the person that is something that i also think that a person should be contented he should feel that he is satisfied of whatever he is doing yes right right yes so subhash uh, uh, as we get successful money is one factor that comes into being like uh, whenever we are deciding something or trying to pursue or thinking about anything that money plays an important role even if we try to neglect at some times so what role does money play in being successful according to you see money is necessary we cannot deny that for for yes. our 
uh, basic needs we need money but there should be some kind of limitation and we, sh uh, we should not uh, run after money and okay. after a certain amount of money that we can earn um, on monthly basis or annually so that will be enough when we think that it will be enough and we should be happy with that and if we can uh, keep ourselves restrained in that limitation i feel that it is uh, a peaceful life and i uh, i feel that i am successful so if you earn more money then sometimes it happens that it gets into your head and you want to do anything whatever you feel like that yes. may not be uh, good for you good for the society so it is better to live in a limited Mm, within limitation i feel so yes yes i also think uh, the same way that uh, yes it should be taken into comfort like uh, uh, we have as i have seen there are different companies when i talk about my life how i have seen and experienced there are different companies that uh, uh, maybe they'll pay you less but atmosphere and the other things also matter as you have said that other things are also equally important apart from money like the location it, at which it is located and uh, uh, what uh, how the atmosphere of that particular place is so i think that is rightly said so uh, there are different like uh, you said that if one is satisfied so maybe we can call it successful so what do you think is the best way to measure a success how can we measure success how can we say that yes this is a uh, uh, this person is successful or yes he had achieved something so it uh, depends person to person so we cannot measure uh, uh thing there is no any standard um, yes measurement thing that i can measure a particular person yes he is successful you can do that because it is yeah. uh, all about perception that particular uh, person he knows about his uh, limitation and when he feels that he is successful that is up to him so yes. it depends from the person yes yes absolutely i think this is what uh, matters and uh, this also should be taken into account along with uh, uh, when we are you know uh, taking into different things into place so uh, can you think of any good example like uh, there were five advices you would like to impart to some uh, younger generation to be that are common for everything let's say you have to do anything in your life then these are five uh, things that you should follow and uh, think of as such any advices as such from your end uh like say whatever do do it uh, honestly and okay. you should uh, respect others while doing uh, dealing with others yes okay. subhash you are not audible kindly uh, can you please uh, fix your system again yes hello hello yes now you are audible yes so i was telling you that uh, honesty is the best policy as we know so yes. whatever do you in your life do it honestly and uh, while uh, achieving your goal don't uh, achieve it at the cost of others expenses because yes. without hurt others and yes. respect others so that you uh, the others people also respect you yes. so these are some things that i think that they should take into account while they do something in their life yes 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 i think it is very important to take all these things into account even when uh, we are going into let's say any kind of stream and i think this are very helpful so we are around the end of our session subhash and it was really a good session thank you so much thank you thank you muskan bye good night bye good night